Hi friends, this is Vishnu here and welcome to my channel Tips, Tricks and Concepts by Vishnu. Many questions have been asked based on the acidic strength of the hydrocarbons. That is alcohols, phenols, then carboxylic acids, ethans and so on. So how to approach such questions? Okay, let's see that in detail. Okay, so please pay attention all throughout my class and I will explain all that is needed for your exams with complete patience and you just have to listen to it. Okay, and if you have any doubts, please ask me as a comment. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you a trick that is, whenever you get any question based on this acidic strength order, keep in mind the following point that is, always carboxylic acids are stronger than phenols, stronger than water, stronger than alcohol, stronger than ethane, which is in turn stronger than ammonia and ethene and ethane. Now the second point to remember is that our aim is to let the hydrogen free. So we have to make that OH bond weaker. For that the effects that we are looking at is plus R that is plus resonance effect and minus I effect. And in general usually the electron withdrawing groups when attached to this OH bond or the carbon atom nearer to it it will increase the acidic nature of that alcohol or phenol. Similarly, when electron releasing group is attached, vice versa happens, that is the opposite happens, that is we decrease the acidic strength. Okay, now let's go in detail. First of all, in case of alcohols. Here, alcohols are less acidic because the alkyl groups, as you know, are electron releasing groups. That is, plus I effect of alkyl groups is the reason for its less acidic character than water and also phenols. Also, we have primary alcohol more stable than secondary alcohol, more stable than tertiary alcohol. This is because you can see the inductive effect is more strong as we go towards the secondary and then again towards the tertiary because more alkyl groups are directly attached to the carbon atom to which the OH group is attached. So more plus I effect and hence lesser will be the acidic character for the secondary and tertiary alcohols. So that's all about alcohols. Now let's go to the phenols. Okay, why phenols are more acidic than alcohols? This is because we have the phenoxide ion that is the formed by resonance okay the resonating structures is more stabilized okay and hence the negative charge is also more delocalized all over the benzene ring okay that is all over the phenoxide ion so phenoxide ion will be more stable than our alkoxide ion which, which will be formed in the acidic reactions of alcohol okay now the next reason is that we have in case of phenols, we have the OH group attached to the sp2 hybridized carbon atom of the benzene. So while in case of alcohols, that is in case of general alkanols, we have the OH group attached to the sp3 hybridized carbon atom of the alkanols. But we know that sp2 hybridized carbon atom will be more electronegative than sp3 hybridized carbon atom. And in that way also, we are able to remove this hydrogen atom more easily because that polarity of this OH bond is affected. Hence, because of these two reasons, we have the phenols more stronger than water and also alcohols. Okay, now let's discuss about the phenol derivatives in detail. Okay, regarding the order of the acidic nature of various substituted phenols. So, first of all, let's see when what happens when electron withdrawing groups are attached to this benzene ring, that is to the phenol. Okay, we can see that when this electron withdrawing groups like NO2, CHO, CN, COR, that is ketones, then COOR, ester group and also the halogens when attached, they increase the acidic strength of the phenols. Why? Because of the plus R and the minus I effect of these electron withdrawing groups. Okay, so when electron withdrawing groups are especially attached at ortho and para positions, plus R effect comes into play and we have the minus charge more easily attracted towards these electron withdrawing groups and hence the OH bond can be broken very easily and hydrogen can be removed and hence greater acidic strength. Now let's go in a stepwise manner regarding each of these phenols, okay? First of all, what happens when nitro group is attached to this phenol, okay? When nitro group is attached, we have the order as Paranitrophenol more stronger than orthonitrophenol, more stronger than metanitrophenol. This is because 
always plus r effect is not functioning or is less when at meta position so it will be least acidic but then why orthonitrophenol is less acidic than paranitrophenol this is because in case of orthonitrophenol there is some hindrances and also intramolecular hydrogen bonding at times so it will be less acidic than paranitrophenol now let's see what happens when halogen is attached okay here we have orthohalophenol more acidic than metahalophenol more acidic than parahalophenol this is because what comes to play here is mostly minus i effect than plus r effect but there is an exception for parafluorophenol okay parafluorophenol is as acidic as phenol only this is because there plus r effect and minus i effect balance each other now the next step among this halophenol among the orthohalophenols which is most acidic and which is least acidic the order okay there is among chlorine bromine iodine and fluorine okay in that case orthofluorophenol will be the least acidic one because of the strong intramolecular hydrogen bonding as you can see here so it's difficult for the hydrogen bond to be removed and hence it is least acidic as compared to the other orthohalophenol and for the remaining orthohalophenols that is chlorine bromine and iodine it is the order of electronegativity that is more electronegative means more minus i effect and hence more acidic character that is ortho chlorophenol more acidic than ortho bromophenol more acidic than that ortho iodophenol now let's go to the next step that is if the number of this electron withdrawing groups increases the acidic character also increases that is you can see that 246 trinitrophenol more stronger than 2,4 dinitrophenol more stronger than 4 nitrophenol. And remember one thing on entrance point of view. That is, this 2,4,6 trinitrophenol is so acidic that it is more acidic than our carboxylic acid, that is acetic acid. Okay? We told earlier that carboxylic acids are generally more acidic than phenols. But this derivative of phenol is more acidic than our acetic acid. Okay? It is a previously asked entrance question. Now, I have a tip. so that this nitro and halo groups do not confuse that is for nitro we have pof that is para more stronger than ortho more stronger than meta okay so we can use the mnemonic nitropom okay and for halo phenols we can use the mnemonic o my par halo that is o for ortho m for meta and p for para now let's see electron donating groups or electron releasing groups attached to the phenol ring okay that is the benzene ring so we have the examples of electron donating groups include our alkyl group then alkoxy group that is ether then amino groups that is nh2 and so on in general we have the when this electron donating groups attached to our benzene ring or phenol we have the acidic character getting reduced okay So here we can take the case of cresol that is methyl group attached to the phenol ring. Here we have metacresol more stronger acid than ortho and para cresols because the hyperconjugative effects of the methyl group does not operate through the meta position while it operates through the ortho and para positions. Okay that is if this hyperconjugative effects operates then the electron density on the oxygen atom that is already negative oxygen atom of the phenoxide ion increases okay so what happens that phenoxide ion that substituted phenoxide ion becomes less stable okay so naturally metacresol will be more stronger because such condition happens very less or nil in case of metacresol also one more reason plus i effect continues to operate through the meta position so now let's take the case of ortho and para cresols there we have the ortho position more near the oh group so the plus i effect of the methyl group at the ortho position will be more and hence ortho cresol will be weaker acid than para cresol because electron donating group is more nearer in case of ortho position and hence we have the order as phenol more stronger than metacresol more stronger than paracresol more stronger than orthocresol finally our last exception that is meta methoxy phenol more stronger than meta amino phenol more stronger than phenol we know that methoxy and amino are electron donating groups still they are more stronger than phenol only the meta derivatives why because there we have at meta position no resonance effect only i effect inductive effect but here there is minus i effect because 
oxygen and nitrogen are more electronegative. So naturally at meta position this minus i effect predominates over this uh, resonance effect and hence they will be more stronger than phenol. Now among them why methoxy is more stronger than amino? Because we have oxygen more electronegative than nitrogen. So our methoxy, meta methoxy phenol more stronger than meta amino phenol. Now among themselves that is among the methoxy phenols and among the amino phenols which will be more stronger we have meta methoxy phenol more stronger than phenol more stronger than ortho methoxy phenol more stronger than para methoxy phenol why because i told you that these groups that is och3 and also nh2 groups shows minus i effect and those minus i effect more stronger when it is near the oh bond okay so let's discuss some previous years entrance questions so first of all a je question the correct order of increasing basicity of the given conjugate base is okay so stronger the conjugate base weaker the acid okay so here what interval are given we have the conjugate bases of our carboxylic acid then ethyne nh3 and just alkyl group so we have to just choose the reverse order of our acid strength so here we have carboxylic acid more stronger than ethyne more stronger than nh3 more stronger than ethane or alkane so our answer will be 1 now let's go to our next question which is an apeptic question which one of the following has the most acidic nature okay it's a relatively good question we have here the first option where the oh group is attached to the ch2 then the benzene ring then our phenol that is OH group attached directly to the benzene ring and then a cyclohexanol and then two cyclohexyl ring attached to a CH which is in turn attached to an OH group okay so here we can see that the D option is just like our secondary alcohol right and our C option a primary alcohol alkanol it is a cycloalkanol that's all but so among A and B, how we will choose? In case of option A, we have a CH2, that is an electron releasing group also. Okay, the OH group is attached directly to an electron releasing group and also this OH group is attached to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom. So option B is correct, that is phenol is the most acidic among all these. Now let's see one more question, one more type. So here, among the following four compounds, phenol, methylphenol, metanitrophenol, and paranitrophenol, the acidity order is. That is, they are actually asking the acidic strength order. So, what will be the acidic strength order? We have methylphenol will be less acidic than phenol. And we have here paranitrophenol, most acidic. Remember the mnemonic nitropom. Okay. So, paranitrophenol, more stronger than metanitrophenol, more stronger than phenol, more stronger than methylphenol. So, the option A is correct. I hope you are clear with this order of acidic strength. And if you have understood, please like the video. And also, if you want me to do more such videos, please comment it. And also, please share it with your friends so that they can also get benefited. Also, if you have difficulty in understanding the inductive effect, resonance effect, hyperconjugation, etc., you may comment that also so that I can do a video on that too. Okay? So, let's see with a new video and bye bye for now.